I am Michael Brown. I'm 18 years old. Now I'm dead and you're alive. I'm watching my body on my knees. I didn't want to die. Why would you keep on shooting me? I was on my knees, my hands up. After my death, I see you alive with donations and more you ever had, and I am dead. Why are you shooting me? I had my hands up. I had my whole life ahead of me. You shoot me a couple times. I still had my hands up. Why would you shoot me multiple times if you felt like an eight-year-old kid? You didn't have to shoot me. There was, was other options.
African American high school students. On the night of February 26, 2012, in Stanford, Florida, I was shot. George Zimmerman, the coordinator of the neighborhood where I live, fatally shot me. I was unarmed and with no cause to my death. Mi nombre es 
Julio César Mondragón solamente tenía 22 años, tenía una esposa y tenía una niñita de meses. Estaba estudiando para maestro y para mejorar en el estado de Guerrero, en la escuela de Iguala. Cuando vinieron el gobierno y me mató, después que me mató y me quitó mi vida, me cortó toda mi cara y me sacaron mis dos ojos. Ahora nunca voy a poder a conocer a mi, a mi niña que tanto como la quería, besaba todas las noches y extraño mucho a mi esposa. My name is Julio Cesar Mondragon. I was only 22 years old. I had a wife and I had a daughter. She was only barely born. I was going to school to become a teacher and to better my life and to better our situation in Mexico, in the state of Guerrero. The name of the school was Iguala. I was only studying there when the government of Mexico came and killed me, took my life. After they took my life, they cut my face and they gouged my two eyes. Now, I won't be able to see my daughter grow to become a woman. And I miss my wife very, very much. I am nine years old. My mother told me the U.S. was giving Israel $3.6 million annually. I don't know how much money that is. I've never really had money. It must be a lot since a lot of Israelis are killing my friends, neighbors, and my people. It was just a normal day. My mom was making us lunch, bread and cheese, 
while I was playing outside. All of a sudden, we see our friends running towards me. They were running for their lives, away from something. It all happened so fast. But then I fell to the floor. I felt a burning sensation in my head and my chest. I'd seen red liquid coming out of me. I had three holes in my chest. I couldn't move. I just lie still. I could vaguely see my mother coming towards me at my aid when an Israeli soldier came and shot her in the chest. She grabbed me and held me close to her. Then we both fell into an eternal sleep. What did I ever do to deserve this life? I am Tamir Rice. Why did you shoot me? I was just a 12 year old kid playing around at the park on November 22nd, 2014. I was a bright child. I had a promising future in front of me and I was talented in many sports. Please people help my family out. They love me. Uh, are you okay with that?
Derek Garner. On July 17, 2014, I died at the hands of police officers in Tompkinsville, neighborhood of Staten Island, New York. After the police officer put me in a apparent chokehold for 19 seconds, a tactic banned by the New York City Police Department, I was initially approached by Officer Justin D'Amico on suspicion of selling Lucy's. After I expressed to the police that I was tired of being harassed and that I was not selling cigarettes, officers made the move to arrest me. Officer Daniel Pantaleo, also on the scene, put his arm around my neck, applying an apparent chokehold shown in the video recording of the event, which has gone viral. While laying face down on the sidewalk, surrounded by four officers, I repeated, I cannot breathe 11 times. I was, I was pronounced dead approximately one hour later at the hospital. America is no longer free. With every choice and every decision made, one must focus harder on where one is in the world. Times are hard with the wealthy owning so much of America. Global disaster plague us. People are starving. Children are dying. No more faith. Drugs are infesting our streets. Police are trigger happy with a legal license to kill. Browns and blacks are dying by the thousands. Nothing's being done. Nobody cares. Nothing's being done. Nothing is being done and nobody cares. Is anyone listening? Does anyone have answers? Free our brothers from jail cells. Innocent people fill the cells. Petty crimes keep them hidden, tucked away from reality. Why? Why, I say, learn to forgive. Think like the wealthy, think like the poor. Be bright, be animated, stay focused. Open your heart, free your mind, live without borders. The loss of morality is global. Militarization is everywhere. The US is getting ready for glo global upheaval. The wealthy are getting wealthier and nothing's being done, nothing being done. No one can hear us. So many new billionaires, poverty levels rising, militarization of police. Get ready for global upheaval. The wealthy are getting wealthier. Can you hear us? The wealthy are getting wealthier. Take the advice from the students of IOC Napa. Unite your community. Set up an independent, an independent assembly. Set up a moral government and begin to set up a moral economy with cooperatives. On behalf of the Community Education Center, Center of Pasadena, California, and Pasadena City College, the Class of 2014 Contemporary American Problems course, thank you for watching this video. Our condolences go out to the families of all the past and recent victims of police violence and brutality. God bless.
September 1995, I was located in Los Dos Bravo, south of airport in the Ciudad Juarez. My name is Sylvia Rivera Morales, and I was 17 years old. With the future ahead of me, family that loved me, now my family is devastated by my death. People without heart kidnapped me, separated me from my loved ones. I was kidnapped, raped, strangled. My breath, my breast was severed, and my other was bitten off. As it happened, over victims that we were found in 1995 in Los Bravo. One of the disputed lands is Ciudad Juarez, who belong to various powerful families. As there are many girls suffering at the hands of Cooley. Cooley. Over 100 missing women, no more violence against women. Compañeros, a todos los que me han apoyado, yo soy Alexander Mora Venencio. A través de esta voz les hablo, yo soy uno de los 43 caídos del día 26 de septiembre en manos del narcogobierno. Hoy, 6 de diciembre, le encontraron los peritos argentinos a mi padre, uno de los fragmentos de mis huesos que me corresponden. Me siento orgulloso de ustedes que han luchado por mi voz, el coraje y mi espíritu libertario. Este es mi mensaje, hermanos, hasta la victoria. Soy la mamá de Alejandro Mora. Mi hijo tenía solo 20, 21 años cuando fue secuestrado el 26 de septiembre del 2014, junto con otros 42 estudiantes más. Por la policía mexicana de Ayotzinapa, Guerrero. Alejandro era un excelente hijo, buen amigo, humilde de corazón, muy inteligente. Él quería salir adelante para ayudarnos a su, a su padre y a sus dos hermanos a, a, a quitarse de la pobreza. También era un buen jugador de fútbol, pero a pesar de todo, me lo designaron. Me lo mataron sin consideración. ¿Por qué, Dios mío? ¿Por qué tanta corrupción? ¿Por qué tanta injusticia en esta vida? Mi corazón está destrozado por la muerte de mi hijo. Ayúdenme a hacer justicia. Que la muerte de mi hijo no sea en vano. Justicia, por favor, justicia. I'm the mom of Alejandro Mora. My son was only 20 years old. When he was in September 26, 2014. Alejandro Mora was excellent child, was good friend, good son, excellent student. He went to forward to help us overcome poorly. Alejandro, Alejandro loved playing soccer, but the reality is that my son was murdered the Mexi with, uh, for the Mexican army. Mexican army killed him without any consideration. Oh God, why? Why did they kill my son? Please, please people, help me. We want to justice. Please, no more die, no more, no more corruption. <laughs> 